am sick and I have been sick for the past two days now and I'm over it. Do I sound like complete ass? Probably, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm back. I've been sick for the past two days, but I'm back and I'm here to make another video for you guys. Um, I feel like it's been a long ass time since I just sat down with y'all and made a video, so here I am. What is up? Um, so I'm going to be doing my makeup today and then um, just like my everyday makeup look that I do and then um, I'm going to straighten my hair and I haven't done that since Halloween because obviously I want to straight hair for my Halloween look. But I've been trying to get my hair back to its natural state. I haven't colored it in um, two months, which is pretty damn good for me. If you guys know me, I'm usually coloring my hair like every damn day. So that's pretty good for me. I sound really stuffed up right now, and I totally am, so I apologize. <laughs> but the show must go on. What better way to find out if this is a good-ass straightener than to test it on my hair? Because if you don't know, I have curly, curly, curly-ass thick hair. So we are going to try this out. This is the Duval Rendev. I don't even know how to pronounce this word, you guys. I'm so sorry. Rendezvous. Mm -hmm. I'll have it right here. Um, titanium styling iron. So, I think I'm going to straighten my hair with it. If I'm feeling a li little bit ballsy, I might curl the top layer. But, oh, that's speaking too much. So, I don't want to, like, promise you guys anything. For now, we're just going to say we're straightening it, Okay. With that being said, let's just get the show on the road. I have already primed and moisturized my face. That's really good. That saves me like five bucks, you guys. I'm going in with my Tarte. Um, and la, la, la. This is a Tarte BB cream. I think it, it's in the, um, what shade is this? Medium. I don't really use um, foundation anymore. This is just like a tinted moisturizer. I don't know why. I just kind of stopped using foundation and I'm okay with it. I just don't like the way it feels on my face. And this is a thought that I've had for a while now. I've had um, eyelash extensions for about almost a year. I think it's coming up on a year here pretty soon. And I've been thinking, thinking that I kind of want to take a little breaky break <laughs> on my lash extensions and go back to like false lashes. What? I used to do my makeup a lot, like every day I would do eyeshadow, lipstick, everything, and now I'm just a lazy ass and I don't do anything. I think it's because of my lash extensions. You know what I mean? But it's like almost with lash extensions you don't want to do like your makeup as much as you normally would if you didn't have lash extensions. Is it really snowing right now? Squirrel! Yeah, yeah, it really is. Welcome. What was I saying? <laughs> I feel like you just don't want to do... <coughs> Excuse me. I feel like um, when you do like eyeshadow and stuff, it just gets in your lash extensions too much. It's just a hassle. At least that's my opinion, and that's why I usually don't do a lot of it. So I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, look at how curly my hair is already getting. I've been wearing it natural for so long, and so many people have asked me if I've gotten a perm. <laughs> do you know how many times I have bleached my hair, girlfriend? Yeah, a lot. So no, if I got a perm, I would not have hair right now. Let me just tell you. I just always hated it. I absolutely hated my curly hair. I started straightening my hair when I was probably in the fifth grade, and I was straightening it every day. I remember I would make my mom sit and help me straighten my hair. I would make my grandma come over and help straighten my hair because it's so thick and curly. Which you guys are probably like, oh my god, I would die to have curly hair, blah blah blah. Which yeah, I get like but you know how it goes it's usually the opposite way around if you have straight hair you want curly hair if you have curly hair you want straight hair it's stupid i know stupid but we've been embracing the curly hair lately and i'm loving it i'm just trying to get my hair back to the healthy state it is um and i'm brown i have been brown for two months um my hair is brown yeah <clears throat> and like that's a record for me can I get a pat on the back thank you seriously though there's some of my videos I had an intro now I don't because f I'm lazy um but I had an intro of like a bunch of video clips put together and I kid you not I had a different hair color in every single clip there was in that intro so if you guys go back and watch my videos you will know what I'm talking about it was crazy sorry I didn't even explain what I'm doing this is the revolution conceal and hydrate concealer see look at my nails Ooh, shit pretty cool hello when I'm finished <coughs> excuse
excuse me. When I'm finished going in with my beauty blender, mm -hmm. yeah, let's try that again. Once I'm finished with my beauty blender, I always just go in with a brush and make sure it's just all evenly blended. Okay, next things next, we are going in with my Kat Von D setting powder. I love Kat Von D. She is my holy grail. A little update on my life because I know you guys are just so curious. I quit my job. <laughs> Surprise! If y'all didn't know, I am a cosmetologist. Started working at a salon and things just didn't work out, you know, just like the normal job. Now I'm on my own uh, and I have a cute little room that I'm renting out somewhere else. And I'm my own boss, which is great, so let me just tell you. And here I am. Just trying to make it out on YouTube. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe down below, baby, and join the fam. I'd love to have you here, a part of it. It's been a year, let me tell you guys. I don't have a car. Oh. It's great. But we're thriving and we're alive and that's all that matters. Anywho, I put that all over as you probably just saw. We like to be mad, but we also like... <laughs> what was that? Anywho, I'm taking my Shade and Light Contour Palette. I just went and bought a little mini one. At first, I had all three colors, but I don't really need that. <coughs> so this is the medium shade. And I'm just going to bronze up my face a little bit, if you will. So, yeah, that's basically all I do. I don't know. I don't know, bitch. And I'm going in with the Justify My Love Too Faced. Um blush putting that on my cheeks duh I used to hate blush now I'm like I'm here for it Oop, I'm really there for that one Woo. <laughs> like I said I have been super freaking lazy lately with my makeup um sorry going in with my NYX um <coughs> excuse me control freak eyebrow gel and I'm just putting my brows in place these little hairy bastards I really don't do much with them anymore is that shocking to you guys go back and watch my videos from a year ago and I will have crayons on my brows like how come none of y'all told me that that wasn't cute guess what are you guys lazy like me yes I know you are so if you want to kind of jazz it up a little bit make your lids not look like they're dead then what you need to do is go in with a big fluffy brush, take your bronzer, and dip it in. Tap, 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 and put it in your crease, friend. Boom, done. If you want to uh, make yourself look more awake, go ahead and take a smaller brush, dip it in there, bad boy, and go ahead and go along your bottom. I feel like my eyes can be two different shapes, so like one of them, I really have to work with it and make it kind of look snatched and not so like round. Because one of them is like an almond shape, and one of them's round. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 too cool for school. That's right, that's why I dropped out. <laughs> now, we are going in with angled brush. Obviously, this is what I've been doing for years. That hasn't changed. It just has changed how much I fill in my eyebrows, if you feel me. Okay, Morphe palette, 350. Um, going in with the brown, any brown shade you want. I've changed it up a few times because I ran out of the browns, but... I just go in and I literally just swap this on here now. There's no... There's no way I do it. Once I get to this front part though, I like flick it up. <laughs> like so. I'm just here for the more natural look, I guess. Doing the same to this brow. My mouth like naturally falls open when I do my eyebrows. Don't know, I'm not sure. It's just like, oh. Us. Who bought Billie Eilish concert tickets for April? Me. Duh. Just looks more natural to me. But can we just talk for a second? Like, if I was from the 80s, I'd be ready to rock and roll right now. I wouldn't have to do shit to my hair. This is what it looks like without any product in it if I just let it air dry. Um, now, if I put mousse in it, this is what it looks like. Yes, pretty damn curly. I'm um, not sure who I got that from. Hang on. Who? Sorry, it was work. There's one thing I think I'm going to do that I don't normally do, but like... Okay, let's send it, bro. I'm still gonna send it. And I'm gonna go in with an angled brush and some brown, and I'm just gonna really just put that in my bottom waterline. And get that all in your eyeball. <laughs> not really, that's really not good for it, but like, it happens. Ta-da! 
beautiful day is a beautiful day. Now, if you're feeling really ballsy, give this video a thumbs up. We are just going in with just a little bit of mascara on the bottom here. Last step of the makeup tutorial. Going in with highlighter, of course. This is the Becca highlighter and shade. I'm pretty sure this is Opal Champagne Pop. <sighs> Putting it everywhere so you can see it at all angles. Cupid's bow. Zer. Tip of the nose. Exclamation points. Inner corners. Brows. Bada bing, bada boom. I got myself some lipstick I'm going to put on. I used to wear this lipstick all the time when I was in cosmetology school. It is Kat Von D, of course, in the shade Bow and Arrow. I love it. It's matte, and I just love it. That's it. That's the finished makeup look. Now... What you've all been waiting for. I'm gonna go blow dry the rest of my hair real fast. My hair is curly as can be. Duval was so kind enough to send me the straightener to see how it worked on my curly curly hair. Um, so we are gonna give it a go and right off the bat let me just tell you guys this is so nice. I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you guys. It's not me. <laughs> um, so the temperatures it goes from 270 all the way up to 450 so you can choose your temp. Um, these little side things are super, super cool because you can set it down on somewhere and it's not going, like, the heart part of the straightener isn't going to touch, which is awesome. I'm excited. I haven't straightened my hair in a long ass time. Just like that volume, you know, see, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be back. I'm going to go straighten. Uh, nope, not going to do that. I'm going to go blow dry. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm back. I just blow dried my hair. This is what it looks like. Yes, yes, I know. It's pretty crazy. It's it's healing. Okay, so sectioning my hair. Oof, that's tight. Oof. I have this set to 360. Um, and we're just gonna go in. I have straightened my hair with this once, just because obviously I wanted to test it out before. Okay. So there is two goes on my curly hair. That was two. So, I won't go any higher in temperature than 360 on my hair. I just won't do it. Looks pretty silky and soft and smooth and straight and sleek and bam and boom and bean. So yeah, that's nice. Oh, wow. The thing I will have to say, <coughs> when I straightened my hair with this the first time, I'm so used to my straightener having to get so close to my scalp right there. Um, don't do that with this one if you end up getting this straightener because these plates on the side, like, they, oof, those are hot, baby. Yeah, don't, don't touch that to your scalp. Mm -mm. Look at how fast I can straighten my hair and, like, the big amount that I'm doing and it's straightening. Like, what? I'm sorry, who are you? Shit. Boom. One layer. Done. What? What? Yeah, we still got like four more layers to go. So, so not only does Duval only have this straightener, they actually have a few other types to pick from. And they also have curling irons. They also have skincare stuff. I have one of their Sonic Hair. I think that's what they're called. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. That you wash your face with. That they sent me. I think it was last year. I use that still occasionally. My ass is sweating. This is another reason why I never do my hair is because I sweat so much. But look how nice it looks straight. Straight hair Courtney and curly hair Courtney are two different people, let me just tell you. Still straightening away. Still loving how silky this is. Okay, so Zuval is so nicely giving me a discount code for you guys. What? Courtney, are you serious? Yeah, girl, I'm dead ass serious. So... This, you guys, is originally like $200. What? What? But with my discount code, you can get it for 70% off. It's Courtney70 off. I will have it right here, and I will also have it linked down below in the description. So if you guys want to go try out this straightener for yourself, go right ahead, boo. I recommend it 100%. Okay, boom, another layer. Done. I never leave 
my top layer down. I always put it like half up, half down. Like I said, because I absolutely despise my top layer of my hair. Because it's just so short and see we're already getting there. <sighs> so annoying. If I could rec like give you guys advice about your hair, it would be to leave it the hell alone. Don't color it every two days. No, I think mine seriously was like every three weeks I was coloring my hair. Bleaching it. Like, go back to some of my videos, guys. I kid you not. My hair was like bleach blonde. Bleached. I also blame cosmetology school for that because when you're doing somebody's hair every day, you're like, shit, I want my hair done too. Straight. <laughs> I'm so hot. Another layer bites the dust. Let's do it. Yeah. Are we sure you can't just leave the layer like this? Business in the front. Party in the back. <laughs> Another layer, friends. Another one. How many layers have we done already? I don't know. I wasn't counting. Hold up, my neck is sweating. I cannot be the only one that sweats when they straighten their hair. Come on. Are we to the last layer yet? How many layers is this, you guys? <coughs> Comment down below if you know. I'm sweating. So this is to the point where I usually give up on my hair, but we're not gonna because we have a straightener that's gonna make it easy for us, okay? Tie that up, put it to the side. And there we go. Okay, this top layer is frustrating for me. And look at how easily it's straightening it, you guys. Like, that easy. I'm not making this up. I swear, I, I literally have it too. 360 too. That's, yeah, 360. That's it. We are on our last layer, folks. Okay, my card is full for some reason, which is just so rude. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this last layer and then I will, well, um, <laughs> I will come back and show you guys the finished results. Okay guys, so I just finished straightening my hair. This is the finished look. Look at how nice and like silky soft it looks. Um, let me just flip that back over. Obviously I have super, super thick hair and you guys saw how fast and easy I was straightening it. No problem. Nothing like... I swear this is like my go-to straightener now. Um, I will probably do another get ready with me some point in my life and I will do some curls with this and put it in and let you guys know how I like it with the curls. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much Duval for sending me this straightener. I absolutely love it. Don't forget to, you guys, whew, I'm sweating. <laughs> Don't forget you guys, you can also go and check out this straightener yourself. You can go ahead and use my discount code right here. I will leave it. Um, it'll also be down in the description box down below. And I want to say you could probably use it on other products. I could be wrong, but why not give it a try, right? So put that discount in. Go get yourself some styling tools, some products, whatever you wish. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, baby. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you a part of the fam. And hmm, I think that's all we got. Okay, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Yep. Ooh. <laughs>